So the big mystery around DJI's upcoming 360 camera is finally solved. We've talked about bundles, teased features, and speculated like crazy, but the one thing nobody could confirm until now? The sensor. That crucial piece of the puzzle is finally here thanks to a leaked product listing spotted by Jasper Ellens and reported by Drone XL. If you've been waiting for solid specs before pulling the trigger, now's the time to tune in because the Osmo 360 is shaping up to be an absolute monster. Let's talk sensor. The Osmo 360 will feature a one inch sensor. And since it's a dual lens 360 camera, we're assuming both lenses use that same sensor. That's a huge deal. Dual one inch sensors mean better low light performance, cleaner stitching, and much higher image quality overall. Even better, each lens is paired with an f1.9 aperture, helping the camera capture more light in darker environments. The chunky design isn't just aesthetic, it plays a functional role by improving heat dissipation, allowing the camera to handle higher resolutions without overheating. Here's where things start to heat up. The Osmo 360 supports 10-bit color depth in both 360 and regular shooting modes. Combine that with D-Log M for more dynamic range and better highlight shadow detail, and you've got a ton of flexibility for color grading. Thanks to a new pixel layout using 2.4 micron pixels, DJI is enabling 8K 360 degree video recording, claiming a 77% improvement in image quality compared to the typical 5.7K setups. That puts this camera in near pro level territory. The Osmo 360 offers versatile shooting modes, including 4K at 120 FPS with a 170 degree ultra wide FOV or 5K at 60 FPS with a 155 degree FOV in single lens mode. In 360 mode, it records at 6K 60 FPS or delivers smooth cinematic footage at 4K 100 FPS. Standard battery, you'll get 100 minutes of 8K at 30 FPS. Add the optional battery extension bar and that jumps to 180 minutes. That's three hours of continuous high-res shooting, impressive for a 360 cam. DJI also includes a magnetic quick-release system, standard quarter-inch thread, and magnetic charging. It works seamlessly with existing Osmo action accessories, making setup and angle changes fast and easy. While the base bundle won't include the invisible selfie stick, you can get it in the Adventure Bundle or purchase it separately. With that, you unlock that signature floating camera 360 effect we all know and love. For controls, DJI went full hands-free. You can start and stop recording with hand gestures, even with gloves on. There's also voice control, perfect for creators who want to focus on movement without fiddling with buttons. DJI's new Osmo audio system lets you connect two DJI mic transmitters at once, no syncing required. That's ideal for interviews or two-person shoots. You also get ambient backup audio from the internal mic for that extra layer of realism. It won't support the first-gen DJI mics directly. One more cool feature. If you're into biking or action sports, the Osmo 360 lets you overlay performance data from your Apple Watch, Garmin, or Fit File devices. You'll see speed, heart rate, and more right on the footage. Yes, it comes with Horizon Steady 360, so no matter how much you spin, flip, or twist, your footage stays level and smooth. The Osmo 360 isn't just another 360 camera. It's packed with pro-level features that are actually useful. From 8K video to smart audio and gesture control, DJI is clearly aiming high. Which feature are you most excited about? Drop a comment and let us know. DJI has previously ventured into compact and modular design territory with the Action 2, a camera that received mixed reviews. While innovative, the Action 2's magnetic modular design faced criticism for its limited durability and somewhat awkward usability. Now, with the Osmo Nano, DJI seems ready to take another shot, this time with lessons learned and a better understanding of what users actually want. The Osmo Nano is expected to build on the Action 2's concept by reviving the modular, magnetic, wearable design, but with critical improvements. That's the idea behind DJI's upcoming Osmo Nano. Designed for creators who want to stay in the moment, this compact, wearable camera takes aim at the GoPro Hero 11 Black Mini and Insta360 Go 3S, but with a more refined, modular approach. Leaked images show a two-part setup, a top module housing the main camera, slightly bulkier than the Go 3S, 
possibly due to upgraded optics or built-in stabilization, and a bottom module packed with features, likely a battery, microscreen, control buttons, and possibly speaker or mic vents. It attaches magnetically to your chest via a neck lanyard, making it perfect for hands-free POV shots. A flippable screen seems to allow for both vlogging and selfie modes, while core features like 4K video, Rocksteady stabilization, and DJI's app support are expected. The Osmo Nano is set to launch on July 23, 2025, with an estimated price between $300 and $400. This new form factor could allow users to easily attach or detach accessories such as screens or battery modules, enhancing both convenience and versatility. Competing brands like GoPro and Insta360 have found success with small, wearable cameras, and DJI's Osmo Nano looks like their direct response. The first concrete details came from tech insider Igor Bogdanov, who shared the Osmo Nano's FCC listing on his ex, formerly Twitter account. In a follow-up post, he revealed a roadmap of upcoming DJI products, which included the Osmo Nano. Interestingly, DJI has registered two different model numbers with the FCC, ON0001 for the camera unit and OD00001 for the display. This all but confirms that the Osmo Nano will feature a modular design similar to the Action 2 allowing users to detach the camera and screen components. According to the FCC documents, the devices will support efficient wireless communication and low power consumption using spread spectrum technology. This suggests the possibility of extended battery life through add-on modules and seamless pairing between components. In terms of performance, the Osmo Nano is rumored to feature a 1-inch CMOS sensor, capable of recording 4K video at 120 frames per second. DJI's Osmo Action Series has traditionally offered superior low-light performance compared to competitors like GoPro, and we expect the Osmo Nano to maintain that reputation. Stabilization is also set to be top-notch, with the inclusion of Rocksteady 3.0 Plus and Horizon Steady, making it perfect for fast-moving environments such as sports, biking, or even drone footage. This is particularly relevant for drone enthusiasts as the Osmo Nano could serve as a highly adaptable camera option for DJI's existing drone lineup. Durability is a major concern for the Osmo Nano. Action cameras are often pushed to the limit in extreme conditions like mountain biking, snowboarding, and off-roading. With a modular design and edge-to-edge -edge display, there's a higher risk of parts detaching or cracking. DJI will need to ensure the Nano is tough enough for serious action camera users. With DJI also reportedly working on a 360-degree camera this year, the Osmo Nano may be just one part of a broader push into immersive and portable video gear. Whether it can outshine GoPro and Insta360 remains to be seen, but DJI clearly isn't backing down. So, what do you think? Can the Osmo Nano take on the big players in the action camera world? Let us know your thoughts.